This is a $500 hair dryer, but I'm going to make one for $5. I'm making you a new hair dryer. Did you just cut $100? Are you serious? First, get some mica plate and a can of mushrooms. Trace the can's diameter on the mica plate. Cut two squares. Cut a slot into each square, making sure they fit together like an X. These will go inside the can later. Then, cut some V-shaped notches into the sides of our mica plate. Flip the two pieces together, grab some knee-chrome wire, and twist it around a screw. Wrap the coiled wire around the mica plate into the grooves we made earlier. This is our heating coil. Rip the label off that can of mushrooms and save them for later. Then cut another smaller hole on the other side. Drill a big and a small hole into the can. Then use the screw from earlier to attach the can to a wooden handle. Slide in the heating element, scratch off the film, solder on the ground wire, solder on the positive wire, attach the fan with some more wire, cut some cardboard into a cone shape, tape all the holes up, and power it on. You can see with this temperature probe, we're getting about 185 degrees. Here's your new hair dryer. No. Really? Does it look good? Mm.